Hey friends and welcome back. So today as part of our Prepper Pantry series, I am showing you three recipes you can make with canned fish. Now canned fish is something you should have on your pantry shelves for long-term food storage. It is a meat that can be shelf stable for many years. It packs a ton of protein, a ton of vitamins, and it is easy to work with, to throw together a quick meal if you are in a rush. Fish, canned fish, y'all, is the way to go. In these recipes, I will be using both canned tuna and canned salmon. I personally have the tuna in water is what I keep on my shelf, but y'all, tuna in oil is also very, very good to put in your prepper pantry if you're using it in a meal. Now, I don't like that in my like tuna salad, but in any of these dishes, that canned tuna in oil would work very well because it's already got your oil in it and it's already got fats in it and your body needs fat. Your body is going to need fat, especially if you're in any kind of high stress situations. If you need to really stretch your food and get a lot of calories into you, oil is going to be one of the ways you need to go. I know a lot of these recipes are for like major all crap breaks loose situations, but that's not what you've got to look at these for. When you build a prepper pantry, the number one rule is you need to eat what you prep. Some goods are good for 20 years in advance, but some of them are only good for a year or two. So you need to constantly be eating out of your prepper pantry and replacing those items so you always have fresh items on hand. So I am focusing on recipes that will help you eat through that pantry and so you can keep replacing those items and always keep good, fresh food on hand. Because when it comes down to a pinch, you don't want to go in there and find that all of your food is went rancid and expired. So we're going to eat through it now. We're going to work our way through it. We're going to replace it as we go. And this is three delicious recipes to help you work through that canned fish. So what are we making today? I've got salmon patties and tuna patties. That only counts as one recipe because you can use either fish. And I actually make it with both fish in here. And honestly, I can't really tell a difference. I love them both. Kenneth really, really loves salmon patties. It's his favorite recipe out of all these. But I will eat both. I am not picky and I think they're delicious. Tuna and couscous. If you have been on my channel for any point in time, you know tuna and couscous is like my go-to quick meal. It takes less than 10 minutes to make. You can take all of the ingredients with you if you're taking on a hiking trip and all you have to do to make this meal is heat up water. So if you can start you a little fire or something, heat up water, you can cook this meal. It's good to go. And then tuna pasta. Not not tuna noodle casserole, no. This is like a delicious flavor-filled pasta that just has tuna in it as its meat. It is so good. Like Declan cleared his plate with this one. Y'all, it's that good. So that's what we got going on. We got patties, we got tuna and couscous, and we got tuna pasta. Three canned fish meals you are not going to want to miss, and you need to write these recipes down for your prepper pantry cookbook. I will also be putting these over on my website, so make sure you check the description box below for the links to that webpage so you can get these recipes in print form. Okay guys, so first on our list is going to be the salmon and tuna patties. Now I'm making these in two separate bowls, so there will be salmon in one bowl and then tuna in the other. You will need 14.5 ounce can of salmon or three 5 ounce cans of tuna. You don't have to make both. I just did both because we like both. I'm using the Great Value Chunk Light Tuna and this double Q salmon in a can. Now this is not boneless salmon. So you'll see when I open it that I do have to pick through and remove the bones. Um, I did drain each of these cans. You don't want a whole lot of liquid, but you do need to break it apart and make sure there are no bones in your fish. If one gets forgotten, they are soft enough that they're not gonna hurt you. We're also gonna add to this minced onion. This is two tablespoons. One tablespoon of lemon pepper, one cup of breadcrumbs, one fourth cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, and you could additionally add one teaspoon of dried dill if you have it on hand. Now you just mix all of these together 
Remember that I've got two separate batches going on here, so that's why I have two bowls. But just mix them all together, squeeze them together. You want them to hold their shape like Play-Doh. If they do not hold their shape like Play-Doh, add one tablespoon more of olive oil in there until you get a nice, until you get a nice moldable ball. And then you just form them into patties similar to what you would do for like hamburger patties. We're going to add some olive oil to our cast iron skillet and get it hot. These only take like three to five minutes per side. You just want them golden brown. They're already all cooked so that you don't have to worry about. You just need to get them golden brown and heated through. And there are finished salmon patties. These are so delicious. Okay, guys, next on our list is tuna and couscous. This is my go-to favorite quick, easy meal. All you need for this is two cups of couscous not the pearl kind it's like rice grain couscous super fantastic easy to cook three flavored packets of tuna or two cans of tuna and your favorite seasonings i like parmesan cheese italian seasoning onion powder garlic powder you know just the normal salt pepper things like that so we add our two cups of couscous to our bowl to this, I added two tablespoons of butter, but you can do two tablespoons of olive oil. Then you add your tuna packets or cans plus any seasonings. Add in your hot water, mix that up real quick, cover it, and let it set for five minutes. Then you can remove your plate, fluff it with a fork like you would rice, and you are ready to eat your food. It literally is that fast, guys. And last but not least on our list is the tuna pasta. For this tuna pasta, you will get you out a pan that you can boil pasta in. Add in enough water that it will cover your pasta. Add one tablespoon of olive oil to that water. Bring it up to a boil and then add your pasta of choice. I'm using spaghetti noodles. I did eight ounces of pasta into this pot. Bring that back to a bowl and cook until it's just undercooked. I did six minutes for my pasta. It was still firm to the touch, but easily pinched with my fingers. Go ahead and reserve one cup of that pasta water and set it to the side. We are going to drain our pasta. I don't need all that excess water in there. Then we'll add the drained pasta and the one cup of saved pasta water back to our pot. Next, we're going to add in two 5-ounce cans of tuna that we have drained. So it's been fully drained. Add in the tuna. I did tuna in water. You can do tuna in oil. If you don't do tuna in oil, you will need to add more oil. So keep that in mind. We're going to do two tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning. It is fantastic flavor and gives you a whole punch. So if you don't like a whole lot of lemon pepper, you might want to cut that back to one tablespoon. One tablespoon of parsley flakes. This is dehydrated parsley. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. And then two tablespoons of olive oil if you use tuna in water like me. If you use tuna in oil, skip this step. Next, you just want to simmer this for about two minutes so that all of these flavors can come together and your pasta can finish cooking. Your pasta is almost all the way cooked. Your tuna is all the way cooked. Nothing in this is raw, so you really just need to heat it up, let your flavors mix, and let your pasta finish cooking. Once that happens, you are ready to eat. Just plate it up, and it's good to go and so delicious. Okay, friends, so what do you think about those three ways to cook canned fish? Remember, canned fish is something you always want to have on your prepper pantry shelves. You can get flavored packets, you can get cans of it, you can get ready-made tuna salads, whatever you want. Canned fish will last a long, long time and it's very good for you. Now, I'm not saying eat it every day because everybody knows you shouldn't eat canned fish every day, but it has a lot of nutrients in it. It has a lot of protein in it. And you definitely need to include it on your prepper pantry. And if you're not a fish fan, please give these recipes a try before you discount canned fish. These are really, really good recipes. I don't think of them being as overly fishy. 
So maybe that will help you get through it, but just try it. I'm telling you, especially that tuna pasta. Oh my goodness. It was my favorite dish out of all three. All right, friends, we will see y'all back next Monday for another Prepper Pantry video so that you can learn how to cook from your Prepper Pantry and what you need to store in it. Make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along on all of our videos. But for now, friends, bye. We will see y'all next time.